It's time to the light show doesn't the start light. until the shoes it's are time on. To light the That's our motto here. It's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. Well, we had a theme song. You wrote it. How come you're not singing that one? It's Dick with nothing better to do with his co-host Damaru. We'll probably end up talking about poo. It's Nick with nothing better to well, do. Well, that's not the official song because what? because it didn't have my kazoo accompaniment. Where is your kazoo? I don't know. Mm. I'm losing all my instruments. Yeah. I can't find my kazoo. And I can't find my jaw harp. I see that. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, hold it's up. too bad you lost that darn harmonica, too. No, I just got a harmonica for Christmas. My mommy bought it for Your me. mommy bought it for you. How yeah, sweet. I even have the box. I think your mom secretly, uh, secretly, deep down hates me, and she likes to torture me by getting you obnoxious. <laughs> Give me toys. my harmonica. Would you do this to Bob Dylan? <laughs> Would you do this to Bob Dylan? I mean, if he consistently just blew into it in random notes, I mean, at least he makes it that's, sound that's good. What he does. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. No, yeah, I'll, he doesn't. Do, I'll do Bob Dylan, right? No, please don't do Bob Dylan. Yeah, the times they are changing. You're freaking out the cat. No, you're freaking out the cat. That's making my headache so much worse. Is it? Yeah. Okay. You're real mature. Okay. I think I think my song's over now. Is it? No one asked for an encore. Nobody asked for an encore. No, I want to do that that cool thing where you you know. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look, I did that. That sounded good. That sounded cool. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna try out for. Um, Bob Dylan impersonator. That's not Bob Dylan. That's like Western. That's like... I like you've done that. That's like the soundtrack to Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. <laughs> Ecstasy of Gold. Here we go. This is gonna be the entire show. Name name more harmonica songs. Okay, ready? Name more. I don't fucking know. Um, the song that Plankton plays in the SpongeBob episode where they're going in the bubble dome. I don't remember that. <laughs> he had to run from each little piece to another and blow, and he passed out after like four. Oh, hours. I remember. Okay, I remember yeah. that. Sorry, that was a very. Um... <laughs> oh, for the Super Bowl. Dome show. Yeah, it was the bubble dome. I really want that to be one of the Super Bowl halftime shows. Can that can that please happen? Anybody watching up from the NFL, and I know you're watching, you're a big fan of my live stream mm -hmm, where I talk NFL all the time. Except for this week I didn't do one. Um, okay. Um, one more encore. No, um, you're we're good. Yeah. That was my my one and only instrument. That's my one and only instrument left. Yeah, well, maybe I can't if you find didn't annoy other... me with all your instruments, you'd have more instruments. Actually, that one's kind of vicious. It, it tore it a m mustache hair out of me. How? Well, I was I was going with it, you know, and it, <laughs> it like, snagged, like, because it's just sheet metal. It's not a real harmonica. It's like a yeah, kid's no, toy. <laughs> so it, like, snagged one of the mustache hairs and pulled it out. So it's probably no. I took it out of there. It's not still in there. I'm just trying to see. I guess yeah. I can see where you would have gotten snagged. Yeah. Huh. It was almost as bad as when you shaved me on camera. I don't really remember that. <laughs> I'm sure it was super funny though. So um, you want to explain your shirt? Oh yeah. So for the holidays, my mom asked me what I wanted for Christmas, and I asked her <laughs> so that. To have my cat love me, because she doesn't. She's sitting over there being a little bitch. Cur yeah, currently the cat seems to neglect neglect you for some reason. I don't know why, but she's just been laying on your lap since yeah, we've gotten back from the holidays. She only likes me. <laughs> I laid. She laid in my lap once. So of course my mom, being the kind, lovely mother that she is, got me some catnip spray, and then she she took this shirt and she glued catnip to it. 
So I am hope so that the cat will love me. She'll yeah. come near me. But the thing is that when I open the shirt to put it on, it just kind of Yeah, spilt. most of the catnip is over there <laughs> at the floor. She just, was, she just so, tripped out, so she has no interest so in my shirt. Cat, yeah, she doesn't want any part of me. He, this thing is pretty spectacular, though. Have you tried the spray on it, you know, I, just now? Here do you have the spray? It's right here. Oh, okay. This is catnip spray. It didn't work last time, but I'm hoping it'll work this time. Maybe I can, like, coax her over. Okay. Catnip is in the air. She's smelling a box right yeah, now. Yeah, she's already just sitting in a box. <laughs> yeah. she's, oh, you know what you need to do? You need to have a trail. A trail of spray? Mm -hmm. You want me to do it for I mean, you? like, each spray kills, like, a, an inch of this bottle, so... An inch? An that inch. bottle's, like, an inch tall. <laughs> <laughs> a millimeter of this bottle. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of hard to convert metric into imperial. She knows I'm here. I just keep wafting it towards her. All right, now she's... Uh, playing with um, that mouse is pretty enticing. I can't even be. It's got a bell on it. That one. Yeah, yeah, you don't have any bells. Maybe. Mom, I needed bells on the shirt too. Yeah, you needed bells, Damn. or you needed this rotating thing that she loves so much. Oh man, she loves that. She thing. loves this thing. Look at that. I didn't even think catnip. I didn't think that like cats would like this. She's staring at me right now. She doesn't like me touching it. Yeah, she's like, "What the fuck yeah. are you doing with my toy?" What? We should just have a Coco Bee cam so that you can see what we see. Right <laughs> a now. twenty-four hour live stream of Coco Bee. <laughs> Just be her laying on her chair for a while. Just her running away from you when you try to cut her. <laughs> I tried to give her a treat today and she wouldn't even come near me to take the treat. Yeah. No, it's mine. She's coming up to you. I, I'm having fun with it. It's my turn to play. Look at her. Look at her. She's just staring at him, you, you guys. Gotta, you gotta share. Hold up. I wonder if I can get another angle on this. I don't have my phone on me. It's okay. It's okay. I'll put it down. It's cool me. Look at this. Yeah, put that down. She She's just looking at you like, um, excuse me, sir. That's I mean, my toy. I can see where she gets enjoyment out of this, though. It's a blast. Okay. I, I, don't, I, I think our um, our people watching right now think this is so, <laughs> such a blast as well. But maybe it's time to... Right. What the fuck is wrong with you? You need to play she's, down? She's, like, she's cool. She's tripping on catnip, and you just threw that thing at her. She didn't run away. Every single other cat I've ever been encountered, when I if I were to do that to them, they would scatter. She's cool. Unless I walk by. Well, you know, quit being so scary. What's so scary? What is so scary about me? Is there something? Or I'm not asking you. <laughs> nobody's gonna answer because yeah. nobody's watching. Because we don't. Wait, no, we do have fans. We do have fans. We do have fans. We do have. We have one fan. And, and they make us stuff. Over the break, we had a fan make us some fan art. Dun, da, da. Yeah, we'll we're we'll gonna insert close up here. I can insert insert oh, close up here. Look at that. What? And you think that's like some kind of computer? Uh, digitized thing. No way. He stitched it or whatever. Cross stitched. C cross. Pay attention for five cross seconds. Pointed cross pointed or something. Oh, cross pointed. Yeah. He crossed something. He sat there like a a, a grandma, <laughs> knitting while while listening to I don't know. I picture him. He Mark had Maron like his glasses on. It was just like <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I love this though. This is mm. my favorite of our fan art. Yeah. So far. Yes. It's in the only fan art we've it's, had. Yeah. But, but that'll, that'll find a permanent spot somewhere on this yeah. side. Yeah. We haven't decided yet. Where should we put it? Yeah. And then, somewhere. Well, speaking, Maybe I'll put it somewhere new every single time. That, that would be fun yeah. so people can try and find it on the like screen. spy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of, uh, of gifts, it was a Christmas break recently. Yes, it was. A Christmas and... A happy yeah, New yes, Year's. Yes, Happy New Year's. This is our first sit-down episode. I yeah. Think, I think I'm going to make the the Snake Super Show a full episode. Oh, are we? Yeah, it's it's a half hour long. So I think that's, yeah. a, that's a good full episode. Why not throw that in there? Yeah, sure. So this is our first sit-down, you know, non-remote episode. And, but it seems like the remotes do actually better than these. Yeah, so but I feel like there's a lot more to look at with we're those. We should do some more remotes. We should. Should we tease some things for planning? The... No, because we can't promise anymore because everybody's already asking us about the Scorsese list. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> People are angry that we haven't gotten to... I've been There's given like a deadline three. by somebody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, we got three episodes. And I don't know if next episode counts or the, the reptile one counts. No, it doesn't. We're going only with the ones that you title episodes. And he, he also told me today or two days. Today. Is, yesterday. Today. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Scorsese. <laughs> No, you know, we started, and then we bit off a little more than we could chew with the holiday season. Yeah, and all. you know, I looking back, I shouldn't have put Scorsese on the list. I should have put things more relevant, like Star Wars. 
Because, you know, the Star Wars movie just came out. Oh, come on. Nobody wants to hear our listing of Star Wars. You know what? Everyone like, knows I, I wrote on a list shit. that we should talk about Star Wars, but it's kind of overdone now. Everybody talks. Everybody talks about Star Wars. Everybody has their opinion well, out there Everybody right now. cares and everybody has their opinion, but nobody wants yeah. to listen to other people's opinions. They just want to have their own. Yeah. It was whatever. It was yeah. fine. It was whatever slash fine is my yeah. review. Yeah. I'm going to do, like... One second reviews or five one second word, review. No, five word reviews. <laughs> one second review, like like one word, like good, <laughs> good. bad, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I wouldn't mind five second reviews over the big popular ones that everyone's talking about. Yeah, because usually that would be like, it's all right. <laughs> We should just do a segment called Spoilers, and randomly throughout the show, you just ruin the random, like, new show. Yeah, I would spoil Star Wars, but there really wasn't. Luke dies. Whatever. No one gave a fuck about Snoke. He died. Yeah, I he, guess that's kind of a yeah, spoiler. Yeah, he chopped in half. Um, Rey went to the dark side. Yeah. And Kylo mm-hmm. Ren went to the light side, and it was just a big switch up. Yeah. No, I, was, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh, Rey's parents are actually uh, Mace Windu. Oh. And uh, Padme. Padme yeah. and, and who? Mace Windu. Who's Mace Windu? Sam Jackson. Oh, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like Sam Jackson. <laughs> you, you like him cheating on Natalie Portman? <laughs> cheating with Natalie Portman or cheating yeah. on Natalie oh, Portman? Che- cheating with it, Natalie Portman. Oh, I was going to be honest. I was like, wait, did he have a relationship with Natalie Portman? Oh, yeah. This is how much I... I get all the characters mixed up, especially in the old ones. I mean... What do you mean? They're, they're, I the old ones I are never pretty know straightforward. The I never know the names of everybody. I'm just like, eh, it's that Ewan McGregor character and... Oh, you mean the prequels? Yeah, what the fuck is with the burpin? And she's got something. So? Hold up. I think she'll be fine. No, she's got one of those wire uh, twisties. They can shut down. Okay. She'll be fine. <laughs> she'll live. She's a cat. She has nine lives. No, like, that's, a, that's a wise tale. A what? A wise tale. A wise tale? Yeah, a wise tale. A wise tale? Yeah. <laughs> Back in my day, we tell wise tales. <laughs> that's what it's called. No, a wise it's tale. not. With, wise tale. It's a wise tale. What, what else Smart would it be? Tale. It's wives' tale. Wives' tales? Yeah, it's an old wives' tale. Is it? I mean, like, wife. Well, like, my wife. My wife. Wives' tale. That doesn't tale. make any sense. I'm telling you, it's wives' tale. Old wives', wives tale. Wives' tale. None. What? So it's only, like, tales that women who are married told? I think it's just, like, I don't know. You scamps get in a sewing circle. <laughs> oh. You know. <clears throat> While well, they're sewing or you know doing women stuff, okay. The wives get together, like you good fellas. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's Eat their face gunk. with blue shit. It's gunk. I don't know what that is. Is I that really an actual thing? It's I like thought a face mask. I remember when I first saw that movie. I'm like, what? Did that people put blue paint on their face? That's what I it think looked it's like. A face mask. Okay. What the hell are we actually supposed to talk about today? Oh, um, <laughs> Sorry. we were going to talk about our break mm. and what we did. Mm-hmm. We went back to Chicago. To Sweet Home Chicago. Unfortunately, we didn't get a conclusion to the pepper challenge. No, we did not. Brian somebody refused to even appear on camera. Adamantly. He said he's just going to donate money. It doesn't send proof that he paid. But I think that's money. I think that's bullshit. I think he is it is too. Yeah. I think I think he should be forced to um and I know he won't watch this because as you heard on <laughs> yeah. the show, he doesn't watch the show. No. <laughs> that had to be the funniest thing. Right Ryan, I heard you said my show sucks. It doesn't suck. I never watched your <laughs> show. I wouldn't even bother. Oh, Ryan. So I'm calling out to our, our three Chicago correspondence. Correspondence. Find a way to sneak some some um uh ghost pepper. Ghost pepper or Carolina Reaper. No, to, he'll die. He doesn't eat spicy. Just, I'm telling you, you could you uh, give him it and say it's a jalapeno. <laughs> he won't even eat a jalapeno. We asked him, okay, how about just a jalapeno? He's like, no. Give, give 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 him it and say it's a banana pepper. I don't give a shit. He He's won't. not gonna eat a banana pepper. Your 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 brother's kind of a wuss when it comes to banana spice. Banana peppers aren't even spicy. They're just like I don't know, tangy. Tangy. Ugh. Yeah, just, I, don't, I don't know. I wouldn't not describe. Yeah. They are a little overpowering. Just put some just put some ghost peppers in some chili. He won't and give it to him. Oh, he doesn't like chili. He does like chili. But he's, but he's probably going to be like, no, it's spicy. No, just tell him it's not spicy. 
Have Josh eating it because Josh can't handle spicy food either, and then he'll be like, "Oh, okay, it's fine." Or, um, find a way to get his condoms, <laughs> <laughs> rub them all up in there. That would be fun. He'd have to get his dick removed. Yeah. <laughs> it's cruel. Anyway, okay. Okay. So if you, if you can, if not, don't worry about it. We need a conclusion to that. Yeah, really. But uh, I also bought you a bonus present. Really? Yeah, is a bonus that what that present. Is? That's what this is. I was wondering what the box was. Yes. Yes. I got Not you, breakable. I got you a bonus present. X marks the spot. Do yeah. I get to open it? You do get to open it. It's it's a present for the show. It's uh, to commemorate one of the best events of 2017, I think. Okay. All right. I'm really go. scared. And right, make sure you open where I wrapped it and not where I didn't. Oh damn, I was gonna open it from the bottom. <laughs> but this just this tape is just so pretty. Okay. Oh, thank you. I it, it took me all of thirty minutes while I was watching the games today. Okay. Open it up. Okay, okay. Present time, present yeah, time. Yeah, present time. Open the present, see it's inside. <laughs> it's liter literally present time. Get it? Because right now present in the present okay you just present, keep drinking your present fence your nice little drink there <laughs> what kind of tape is this that's gaff tape oh this is a gaff tape okay yeah it's stronger than duct tape <laughs> okay so this is going well do you I, do i get scissors no <laughs> And I have, I'm, I'm a finger down for this. I can't Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about your finger. I slammed my finger in a you car door. You intentionally close your finger in a car I door. I didn't intentionally do it. Why would I intentionally you, almost you break my finger? You bloody murder and like the whole neighborhood woke up. It was like, you ever see a cartoon where someone screams and then the dog barks and then down the street you see a light turn on and like, all right, what's going on down there? It was like that when you close your finger. I didn't just slam my finger in a car door. Like I slammed in and then <laughs> Nick just caught the standard and just like, Pull it out. It was and pretty I funny. Wasn't coming out, so I actually had to somehow muster like the the brain capacity to, to mm -hmm. know to open how to open the door again. You kind of look like a three, <laughs> <laughs> like three Stooges. <laughs> I've done that. It is very painful. It hurts. Yeah. You just sat there and stared at me like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I'm like, well, "Because you're making a lot of noise. It's late at night. There's kids sleeping." I slept. I slammed my finger in a car door. It really hurt. And the lady, or one of our neighbors is being really sweet about it. Okay. I got the second layer off. I just did this because I wanted to eat up time seeing you try to open it. Ha. <laughs> Joke's on you. Gap tape rips really easy. Wait, before you open it, I have to ask you something. Partially calling you out. Did you see this? Did you see the box in the trash? No. You didn't? No. Okay, because I thought you, you saw it. Because I, I threw it in the trash. And it was supposed Why to the fuck would you throw something in the trash? You know how nose, nosy I am. I'm surprised you didn't. I mean, I would walk by the trash. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you discovered it. What is it? Is this a brown snow? Yeah. This is a brown snow? It's, it's show the camera. It's so cute. It's a Cleveland brown snow. Look at you guys. I got it. It's got to a... commemorate their 0-16 season. I got you, your favorite team in gnome form. Thank you. That's creepy. I love it. <laughs> ah, we should write down the... um. The, the score on the little hat here. <laughs> the score? Yeah, the 0 and 16. This is great. Congratulations to the Browns. You made history. Did you see you made their the parade? best out of a shitty situation. I didn't see the parade, but when you texted me it, my heart just went off. Like, just I was just so happy. <laughs> they gave themselves an 0 and 16 parade. This guy's got some really detailed hands. It's kind of creepy, you guys. Look at look at those things. We got a Browns gnome. What do you think we should name him? Mm hmm. Bernard the Browns. Bernard. Bernard the Browns? Bernard. I was Bernard. thinking of naming him Noman 16. 
That was dumb. <laughs> I like Gnome in 16. No, fine. I, unless you can think of a better name. I like Bernard. Bernard? Okay, so his name is Bernard the Gnome in 16 Gnome. Fine, Bernard the Gnome in 16 Gnome. Yes, and he, he uh, well, he's going to replace you. Because I know you're leaving the show, so he's going to be our new co-host. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm happy you found a replacement. I didn't I know I was leaving the show. <laughs> I'm banning you. You're banning me? <laughs> yeah. That's fine. I, I actually wanted to sh you to open the present, which was your replacement, so you don't have to be on the show anymore. Oh, thanks. Well, I will get going. He can finish my drink for yes. me, too. Gnome. You want to play uh, Canadian or not? <laughs> gnome. I think I, I might have to read for him. <laughs> okay, do your gnome voice. Um, let me see what this guy looks like again. She's got really freaky eyes. Um, uh, okay, we're gonna do a game now. <laughs> this is my gnome voice. How's that? <laughs> I feel like they're pretty high pitched. You know, they're small. So it's just your cord. voice, high pitched. It's not like a voice. Well, I'm what not. I'm sorry. I'm not. A, I'm not a Phil Hartman. Okay. Phil Hartman. Is he, is he a voice actor? <laughs> He did one voice. He did his own voice. So you are being Phil Hartman. <laughs> well, he was the one who did a lot of voices. Mel Blanc. Well, there's one that sounds like Phil Hartman, I think. Well, Phil Hartman, is he's uh, Troy McClure. He I'm a, Troy McClure. He did a few voices. Yeah, but they're all the same voice. It's Troy McClure, Lionel Hutz. Think of those two. Oh, damn it. <laughs> they're the same voice. At least I got a voice actor. And... Okay, fair enough. But he's also been dead for 25 years. Okay. Well, we're going to play a game called Canadian or Not. Because mm -hmm. the Vic thinks that he has really good... I have, yeah, I tweeted it out. I have really good Canadian gar. I watch I watch a lot of hockey. And I watch... Uh, there's this YouTube channel where all they do is talk about hockey. And they're these Canadians. And they're so, they're so polite. That is the Canadian stereotype. They, they see, they, uh, so they'll, like, trash a team and be like, again, it's just my opinion. You know, your opinion may change. They say it, like, 50 times an episode. It's amazing how polite they are. Well, I guess we'll read these off and see if these people are polite enough to be Canadian. Yeah. Like, is that your only way to finding out if they're Canadian or not? No, I just, I have a good ear for their accent. I could... I can sniff Canadians out. But, I mean, a lot of, like, like I gotta say, I didn't even know that Hugh Jackman was Australian for the longest time, because yeah. his American ac his accent is so good. Mm. These are, some of these are act actors and actresses, like... Yeah, no, I, I can nail them. I can nail them. Okay. Well, I would like to choose, if you're wrong... Okay. You... So, I mean, I got ten names for you. Right. For every one that you guess wrong... You have to eat a bean boozled jelly bean. Now you can eat them all in one handful at the end, or you can eat them as we go. Okay, I think I'm going to do as we go. So, okay. like, if I get two wrong, then I have to eat two, right? Yeah. For each one you get wrong, you have to eat a jelly bean. So it goes in up for every every one I get wrong. No, it goes down. Well, for every one you get wrong. No, it's not. So I'm saying that I don't go. Oh, I got one wrong, so I eat one. Oh, I got another one wrong, so I eat one, adding up to two. It's, I eat three total for two wrong. Oh, I see what you're saying. Sure, that makes you eat yeah. more. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's do that. Why do you make it so complicated? You made it complicated. Uh, I don't know, guys. Did I make it complicated? I don't think I did. Okay. Here is your list. Okay. For Canadians. Canadian or not. Yeah. We'll put some, like, editing cool graphics there. Okay. Rachel McAdams. Uh, I'm going to say she's an American. What? Canadian. That's what Google told me. What part? Just the Google part. I can look it up. Okay. What part of Canada? Canadian. Canada. What part of Canada is what I was asking. Um, she was born in London, Ontario, Canada. Really? Oh, you know what? I confused her with Amy Adams. That's what it was. That's why my Canadian star was out. Okay, so my, you have my, an excuse. Yeah, my Canada radar was uh, malfunctioned. Yeah. So I got this one. Right out the gate. Which one's this one? Um, you're about to eat either lawn clippings or lime or... Wait, let me say that again. Oh, no, sorry. That's uh, boogers or juicy pear. Oh, okay. That's a juicy pear. Oh, wow. So that, that was actually a win 
even though I lost. Next one. Jessica Alba. May as well like the beginning of a question, but I just meant to say the name. Hmm. Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba. And you know who Jessica Alba is. She's from yes, Good Luck Sin Chuck. Sin City. Um, oh, Sin City, yeah. Yeah. It's a better one. She's got to be an American. She was born in California. Yeah. She's, in, she's uh, interracial. She's like half black, half white. There's no black people in Canada. That's why I said that. <laughs> I should have thought about that as I was making this list. Um, Jim Carrey. Oh, he's Canadian. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's very Canadian. Um, Matthew Perry. I'm going to say... Ooh, the guy from Friends, right? Yeah, he's the one that uh, marries Monica in the end. Yeah, yeah, I, I never Spoiler, the show. sorry everybody. I never the show. Um... He's Canadian. Yeah. Okay, cool. Got one wrong. Yeah, you're doing good so far. <laughs> Ellen Page. Canadian. Yep. Rain Wilson. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, I'm gonna go American. He was born in Seattle. Yes! Oh, so close! <laughs> Just... <laughs> um... His name was Rain. I, I could see a Canadian. Oh! What should we name this kid there? Oh, how about Rain? It's raining outside. How about we name him Rain? He's <laughs> got a Canadian look to him, that, too. That sounds good there. <laughs> I'm mad with how well you're doing so right, right, right now. Okay. Okay, you got four more left. Prince. Oh, he was a Minnesota guy. Yeah, yeah he was. Yeah. Okay, yeah. He's uh, half black, so black people don't live in Canada. <laughs> I don't, Minnesota is pretty close to Canada. Yeah, no, I, it, it, yeah. I actually chose a few people from like Minnesota and Seattle to kind of get close to oh, Canadian portal. I, I was trying I to mess you, you up a bit. Move uh, Buffalo. That's close. I'll have to do that for next time. Yeah. Look for some Buffalo famous people. Okay, next one. Dwayne Johnson. He's American. Milo said he was uh, Canadian. What? Milo said he was Canadian. How is he Canadian? How is he Canadian? He was born in Canada. Did he, did he say he was going to run for president? I don't know. It's just what it said on his page. Dwayne Johnson was born in California. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, he was born to a Canadian-born professional professional wrestler. You should have to eat one. <laughs> Why? Because you fucked up. You asked me to do this like ten minutes before the show. You can't. You can't. <laughs> Hold me accountable for, like, getting something wrong. I'm doing these very fast. And I, I didn't think... ask you. I asked you two days ago. Okay, this time you asked me two days ago, and I forgot until ten minutes before the show. Yeah. But usually... Not you. Okay. Well, that's, that's exactly what happened with the song, okay. if you remember. And that song is gold. You're not supposed to pick it. You're supposed to pick at random. Yeah, I am picking random. Too. You just looked at them. <laughs> so, uh, long clippings are lying for me, I guess, because I did something wrong. <laughs> I need to fucking get a blueberry toothpaste. One clipping's not that bad. That's not fair. Lime. It's lime. Oh, Let's good. continue. Oh, God forbid you eat some grass. You eat that regularly. You're a pescatarian. It's like half your diet <laughs> is grass. It's good grass. It's bitter. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did what I told you. I'm still mad at you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Ben Affleck. American. California. I thought you said you were picking close. That's not close. Oh, yeah. A few of them I just oh, okay. threw in there. Chris Pratt. He's a Seattle guy. Minnesota. Oh, really? I thought I heard he was a Seahawks fan. No, was... Our lines in Minnesota. Okay, fair enough. Damn, okay. you did really good. Was that it? Yeah, that was all ten. You only got one wrong. How many Canadians did you actually have? Five. I did five and five. Oh, okay. You didn't even have any, like, hard ones. What? Who do you consider a more dis difficult one? I would have picked some hockey players. Oh, I went with actors and actresses this Well, week. that works, too, you know. Uh, let really me see if I can players. pick you on one. Uh, I do not have good Canadian dar. Dan Aykroyd. Canadian. Okay. Um, I just looked at a full list of actors and actresses that are Canadian. John Candy. <laughs> not Canadian. No, I he's Canadian. Oh, he is, he is Canadian. Did you know he grew up uh, a block away from Jim Carrey? 
Weird. Yeah. Were they buddies? No. Were they friends? No, they were popular at different times. <laughs> Pretty sure John Candy was dead by the time Jim Carrey was, like, star was rising. That sucks. Yeah. Whatever. Anywho, that's all I had planned for this episode. Yeah, right? that's all I had planned, too. I was actually just thinking in my head, like, we, do we have something else? It awful short. Short episode. Then we make short a sh- episode. Yeah, I like short episodes. <laughs> I like how I sing that's the Canadian song from South Park. Yeah? Do you want to talk about <laughs> South Park? in Canada. <laughs> Oh, I finished my first, uh, like, total, like, I, the first game I ever finished from start to end on a video game. You've never beaten a game before not, that? Not on Xbox or PlayStation. I grew up with PlayStation 2. I loved it, um, and I used to play the Timmy Turner, uh, like, Fairy Odd Parents game. Mm. That was one of my favorites. And, I mean, I'm, I won American Idol a few times, but that wasn't, like, you know, it's not, like, a legit, like, full-level game. Yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, with action and possibility of dying. So, yeah. Uh, South Park, Stick of Truth, was my first game. That you've ever completely went through. That I've ever completely went through and finished. It's interesting because when I was a kid, I never beat video games because my brothers... It's, this is the, uh, the trouble of being the third of three brothers, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. So, like, I would have, I would get the games, and they were already beat, so I could just pick and choose what levels I wanted to do, so... Oh, come on, you gotta go in order. See, the, the anal part of me is like, no, you gotta go in well, order. Well, I would, I would try and go in order, then I'd get to a part that was hard, so I'd just be like, well, the other parts are unlocked, why not just do that anyway? It's cheating. It's not cheating. It's well, cheating. Well, yeah, it is cheating, so, so it took me a while before I beat my first video game, I think. Trying to think. What was your first video game that you ever beat? That I ever beat? Yeah. I think it was um one of the early James Bond games. I've never played like a James, James Bond, Bond game. Games. Huh? I said I've never played a James Bond game. Uh, well, there's GoldenEye. I have it for uh, Nintendo 64, but it's really bad now. <laughs> it doesn't translate <laughs> no. well. No. Aww. It did not age well at all. I played a lot of computer games. As yeah. a kid, I wasn't that big into. I lo- no, I played PS2 a lot, but I wasn't big into like battling games. I'm trying to think. Oh, I mean, I, I I'm sure I beat Bar- Mario Kart. When I I've never... gotten first place and stuff. I'm so sad. I want to play Mario Kart, but your fucking I Xbox have... doesn't play that. I have a Nintendo 64. We play Mario Kart 64. It's still fun. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I have the actual cartridge though. Send us Mario Kart 64. Yeah, we'll play it on the air. Yeah. Oh, we, we're going to play Cupheads. Well, yeah, that's next. Shh, don't ruin it. This show's over. I don't know. <laughs> we're, we're, we're in extra innings on this show right now. <laughs> I, just, yeah. I just haven't gotten up and turned it off yet just because I'm lazy. But I will say this entire fucking episode in my head just felt like someone was taking a hammer right here. So it was really hard to concentrate on what you're like saying. Like, your headaches are always in a very specific spot. Yeah. I don't understand that. I've never Usually had that. Usually right here is really painful. Um, at the base of the neck is really painful. So, like, it makes sense that the hammering is kind of, like, in this area right here. Stop the hammering! <laughs> Have you seen that video? What is it? Oh, he's this, uh, he's like a CNN guy or <laughs> Fox News. He's one of those news guys. And, um... I guess they were working on a studio around there, and he, like, kept getting mad because, like, somebody was talking in his ear. He was just getting really grumpy, and he was, like, at the news desk, and I guess there was hammering, and he just yells, Stop the hammering! <laughs> Is that on air he did that? You finally just snapped I don't know if it, was, if it aired live or it was a blooper, and a mm-hmm. disgruntled employee uh, uploaded it. There's a few of those. There's the, the, the Bill O'Reilly one. Who's Bill O'Reilly? Oh, 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 O'Reilly, <laughs> He's a, O'Reilly. A right wing. Parts. Sorry. I don't know if that, is that a whole, is that a nationwide commercial? I think that, I, I don't think I don't that know. Is. That might just be just uh, Midwest. Oh, Midwest. Midwest got that oh, joke. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so catchy. And Luna? Seven, 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 seven three, three, two, oh, two. 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 Luna. Didn't Empire have one? Oh yeah, um, call 800-588-2300 Empire. Oh, um, you like save today. big money. You, you save, save big, big money, money when you shop Menards. Menards. <laughs> 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 
Okay, this is actually getting uploaded. This is the greatest <laughs> episode ever. But no, are there any for just California? You're uh, killing me, Larry! That's a California I one. I hate yeah. that one. Every time it comes on the radio, I'm like, well, I'm not listening to this channel ever again. <laughs> just burning, all, burning bridges with all the radio stations that do that stupid um, commercial. Is that a mattress? I, I don't care. Oh, um, it might be insurance. For free! The mattress game. Oh, I always forget that's actually some like Bill Burr does it a lot. Yeah, he does. Yeah, for free. And I've I heard that on uh, I TMZ. Always hear somebody else. And he's oh had, yeah. He's like guilty pleasure for the TMZ show. Now I can't watch it. I can't stomach it. I don't know why. Like I watch it now. And I'm like I don't know why I used to watch this. Well, I know why because it was in between Simpsons episodes. Oh. So it, it went the Simpsons, shit we watched to get to the shows we wanted. TMZ Simpsons. So I had to watch a full episode of TMZ and then watch that's the Simpsons awful. again. It was, it was a really horrible sandwich. Could you imagine a sandwich where the, where the two buns are really, really good, but the inside sucks? I, I mean, that happens happen all the time. It's just, that's yeah. how TV worked back then. You couldn't, you had to wait for your shows. And then when you were able to, like, have <clears throat> TV notify you and switch to the show you mm. wanted, that was so much better because you could flip the channels. But I remember watching, like, cartoons as a kid and being like, oh, I fucking hate this show. And then watch the entire show. Yeah, no, I did that too. I wasn't yeah. that big into Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I wasn't that, but I, and I wasn't too big into Dexter's um, Laboratory. It just, it was always on. Who's that bitch that talks to animals? Eliza Thornton. Yeah, I didn't like her. I re- I didn't like how they were drawn. I kind of creeped me out. I didn't like out. her. But I liked, uh, was Tip Curry her dad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was cool. Nigel, I yeah, think Yeah, Nigel is. was cool. He has so many memes. They're so funny. <laughs> oh, where he like pops out yeah. of people's faces. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was pretty awesome. I think he made that show bearable for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the one where I was just like, eh. This is uh, uh, Dr. Doolittle. That movie? Mm-hmm. That old movie with Eddie Murphy? Yeah. Dr. Dr. Doolittle? I haven't animals. seen that since I was a kid. Does Dr. that hold Doolittle. up? I doubt it. I don't think it will. Because I, I used to watch Nutty Professor as a kid. Did you ever see Nutty Professor? No, that's one of those that I've seen commercials for, and I'm just like, I don't really get it. I remember, I think it was hilarious when I was a little mm-hmm. kid. Well, because there was a lot of fart jokes. <laughs> I was a big sucker for fart jokes. I was a huge, I don't know if this is even on the same page as Nutty Professor, but I was just thinking of stuff I don't really find particularly funny now, and it was, um... I forgot. <laughs> oh, I was so excited I, to hear it. What was it? I think it was Austin Powers. You don't find Austin Powers funny? I don't find it very funny anymore. Oh, you don't find it funny anymore? Yeah, but back then it was like we would watch those movies non My dad always hated Austin Powers, so I didn't watch it until I was a little bit older. What and do you think of it as somebody who watched it when you were older? Nostalgia when was, still gets When I was older, time. I was like, eh, hey, it's okay. Like, I, I didn't hate it and I didn't love loved it. Them. I loved Yeah. I wasn't a big Mike Myers fan. I never watched... Um, Wayne's World until it was older. <gasps> yeah, that one, that's a good one. Yeah. That holds up pretty and that's, well. And that's one of those movies where it's like, I I know, like, this is my style. Like, this is something I should like, but I just never, I don't have the nostalgia for it. <sighs> it's so good. You know what I mean? One of my favorite parts is when they're laying on top of the car as the airplanes are going over, and they're just asking each other question. I don't think I've seen it all the way through. Maybe that's why you don't, like, appreciate yeah. it. It's now, great. I, I have to say... I was like that with uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, <laughs> and then I watched it all the way through, and I actually liked it. I was like, okay, this is actually kind of entertaining. George Carlin's in it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is George Carlin. Yeah, it's George Carlin. <gasps> I need to rewatch that now. It's going to be like watching The Grinch Who Stole Christmas after realizing Anthony Hopkins is the narrator. It's just a different experience. It's like, yeah. now I know who that is. And... Mm. Ooh, that's freaky. <laughs> I have that with a lot of movies. Like, um, Uma Therma. Um, like, when I watched, because when I was a kid, all I knew her from was Batman and Robin. When, <laughs> so, so, yeah. So I saw that before Pulp Fiction and fucking mm-hmm. Kill Bill. So, like, when I saw her after that, it's like, oh my god, she's actually not a hokey, corny actress. <laughs> <laughs> like, she actually has some good stuff and is pretty mm-hmm. talented. I always liked her in the producers, too. I think Kill Bill is my favorite with her, obviously. Yeah. But I mean, she, yeah. she's funny in the producers. Because she's... It's always hard. I don't know. Well, first off, I can't sing ever. And I'm actually annoyed by people that can sing. Like, I feel like now there's more people that can sing that can't. I ever notice that? I, I wouldn't say that. Maybe it's because I've been around artsy people my whole yeah, life. Yeah, I was about to say. Jesus Christ. Okay. 
I, I've been around artsy people my whole life, but I can't draw and I can't sing. So, <laughs> like, I feel like artsy people, they, they have one or the other in that department. You know what I mean? Wait, what do you mean? I don't know. It seems like... They, like, the, all, all the artsy people can only hang out with themselves and can't hang out with people who aren't artsy or Well, I, I hate people that can sing because I remember one time I was at art school and I was walking to Jewel with uh, some people and all they did was sing the entire walk and I can't sing. They were singing something from like fucking Wicked or some musical I'd never heard of and I was just like standing there. Like, <laughs> like, they're singing down the street. I don't know what to do. You just joined in. It would, would not sound good. You probably didn't even know the song. No, yeah, that too. It's like, yeah. I kind of really want to know what Wicked and song that they were singing. It, it was really from like, Wicked. They, it it was the entire walk to a grocery store. We walked around the grocery store and they were still singing. And we walked all the way back to the apartment. So that just killed my... It, it's just like I hate singers now. As somebody who uh, skipped down the freezer section of Target with a friend singing... Frozen songs. I can't really talk. Well, no, that's fine. If, no, that's fine if you're doing it as a goof. But they were just yeah. singing because it was fun. And well, yeah. Why can't they? Why can't? I mean, because I, I was there and I can't sing, so I'm standing there awkwardly while people are singing in the middle of the streets of downtown they, Chicago. Did they just like try to include you, or did they only sing to themselves? Did they pressure just, you to sing? No, they were just singing. And I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very odd story. I, I realize that this is a problem not many people have. No, it's not. Maybe you're right. Most people are just okay with just, yeah, we'll just sing. Like, this is not a... Well, I mean, there's so many shows that are singing competition shows. And it's been like that for at least, what, since early 2000s? When would it, American Idol get big? I don't know. I mean, I had the PS2 game, so... I, I had to be like 2002, at least. And yeah. now there's a, there's still like ten different singing shows. Enough with people that can sing. I'm sick of people. That what do can you sing. want instead? What do you want? What people like me that can't sing? <laughs> to go on a show and do what? How are you going to entertain <laughs> the people? Huh? I mean, I yes, don't know. we should do like American Idol, but it's uh, stand-up comedians. It's uh oh uh that is a thing. Wait, they have a comedian? last comic standing. What are they? Really? Yeah. Oh. Um, and, oh, I thought um, I was coming up with an original idea, guys. Uh, the fat guy that just died. Ralphie May. Ralphie May came from Last Comic Standing. Oh. Rich Voss was on Last Comic Standing, too. Oh, was he really? Yeah. I think he was a finalist. Like, he got to, like, second place or something. Mm. Um, yeah, a lot of people. Joe Rogan was a judge, I think. Joe Rogan's a judge on everything. He just pops <laughs> up randomly like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Joe Rogan's crazy. I don't know how he, like, he does the UFC. Like, he knows it inside and out. And then you hear him talk about, I don't know, comedy. He knows that inside and out. Yeah, really. He knows, like, three things inside and out. And it's just like, how do these connect, Joe? Some people are just really intense extroverts. And yeah. just, you just follow everything they love we and get it all done. The comedy story. He was Fantastic. Oh my gosh, amazing. I'm I think so happy was, to see him. He's probably trying to think of the best comic I've seen live. Mm. Joe Rogan was great. John Mulaney was great. John Mulaney killed it. John I was Mulaney so was really sad good. that um, his set was I'm, so short. My bucket list is uh, Joey Coco Diaz. Oh I my gosh, that would be awesome. Live. I need to see Joey Coco Diaz live. Yes. Uh, Ron White, I need to see him live too. Uh, really? I was, Ron White is on your list of, to see oh, live? Oh, I love Ron White. I mean, he's good, but I wouldn't have guessed I, he was in your top for no, going to see. Yeah. He's, he's at the comedy store a lot. Okay. Yeah. We should, we should but see he, his, uh, I love, because he does stories mostly. Oh, his tater tot story he, is the he best. Does, he has perfect timing. Mm -hmm. I love his, like, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a really great way of telling mm -hmm. stories. I I I, lo I used to be obsessed with blue collar comedy tour. Yeah, I think everybody was. I thought it was so. It good. aired on Comedy Century like every other day. I have it on DVD. Why? It was on Comedy Central every weekend. <laughs> My family just likes DVDs. Yeah, I guess so. We have, we have a lot of them. Yeah. I I think we we're done here. 